Good morning. Happy Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday to everybody. This is Tiffany Almeida with Pretty in Paper Crafts. And this is my coffee in a card. I do every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm so glad that you guys can um, tune in and watch with me this morning. Um, and I just want to let you know, every week I do a giveaway for watching the video. Um, and for those of you that are live, as long as you do a comment um, or share my video, um, then I enter you into my drawing. And you do not have to watch live. You can also watch throughout the week and leave a comment and you will um, be entered into the drawing. So last week's drawing was for um, a spool of this shimmery ribbon. Good morning, Terry and Tammy. Thank you guys for watching. So last week's um, raffle was for this shimmer ribbon. It's part of a pack of three in the new celebration catalog. And so at the end of this video, I'll be drawing for the winner from last week. Um, and then I just wanted to let you guys know that today, um, this week's giveaway is for the beautiful Peacock stamp set out of the Celebration catalog. And um, that is uh, that is the stamp set we're going to be using today. So um, I am... Just going to give people a few minutes to um, tune in here. And also, um, I wanted to have it set up on my um, iPad at the same time so I can kind of see you guys as you're commenting and hopefully um, keep up with you guys because it's hard to watch the camera and um, my video at the same time. Okay, so free stamp set this week. Make sure you comment, share. Um, say hello, doesn't have to be live, but make sure you do that so that you can be entered to win the beautiful Peacock stamp set. Um, all right, and as you know, you can always place a $30 order using my hostess code for the week, and you have until Wednesday of that week to place a $30 order, and then you'll get the make and takes for this week's video for free. So very cool, uh, fun, and then of course I show you how to make it here so you can come back to this video and watch it anytime and make the fun crafts. And of course I've got my coffee. I hope you all have your coffee or whatever drink you prefer um, so we can all enjoy some early morning crafting. Okay, before I get started, I wanna tell you guys I'm super, super excited about this month's classes. And so I thought rather than just send you a picture, I'll show you what the cards are. So the first class I have is at my home. For those of you that are local, on Saturday, February 17th, um, and if you cannot attend locally, you can um, come or you can order it to go and I will prep everything with a written tutorial and you can assemble it on your own with the, to, with the help of the tutorial. Good morning, Evelyn. Um, and so this is my birthday, uh, picture perfect birthday um, card class. And as you can see, this beautiful box here, this is using one of the pizza boxes. If I can get it out here. This is one of the uh, mini pizza boxes, and I've punched a hole out of the center to hold a cupcake. And then it's got this cute cupcake, cupcake box top. Isn't that cute? So, um, I have, this is, one, this is one of the projects. This is another project that will be part of the class. It's a little party panda, and inside holds uh, four little Hershey nuggets. So isn't that cute? What a fun little birthday treat that would be. And then Picture Perfect is one of the stamp sets and one of the suites in the Occasions catalog. And this paper, um, this designer series paper, is just beautiful because it has the photo, um, realistic photographic paper. So these will be the cards that we'll be making. Um, and the class comes with your, in, with your own entire stack of this designer series paper. And there's three different options for the class. See, I even put some of that paper on the back of the envelopes. Isn't that cute? So there's three options for the class. The first option is $35 and you get the stamp set, the picture perfect stamp set, which I did not pull out for some reason. Oh, here it is. Picture perfect stamp set looks like this. It has got some great sayings like treat yourself. Hello. That's going to be one of my favorites. Happiest of birthdays to you. Celebrate the good stuff. Cue the confetti. It's got things to make the little, um, what are those called? 
those little horns, I don't know, the party things. So you can make some of these. Um, you can also do candles with it. They have the realistic bow, which I stamped here. This is stamped. I stamped that bow. So lots of fun with this stamp set. So the first option is $35. It comes with the stamp set. It comes with the entire stack of the designer series paper. Um, and the designer series paper is two-sided. So one side is photo um, photographic and the other side is beautiful patterns. So really cool, really cool paper. Um, and then of course you get the, everything to make the project. So that's 35. And then the other option is $20 and it just comes with a stack of the designer series paper, not the stamp set. And then of course the six projects. And then the last option is just for the PDF only. You can pay $50 or $15 and get just the PDF. So this is my picture perfect birthday um, class. I'm super excited about that's February 17th. And I'm sure you guys have all seen um, the event I created for that. And then um, I have my, so my first month of technique class, my online technique class was watercolors. And so if you participated in that, you got the, um, the cards and the videos to make those, do those watercolor techniques. And then this month I'm doing a fancy fold technique. So it's all about um, fun kind of 3D and unique um, cards. So I am going to show you the four uh, four different techniques we'll be doing in this um, this month's class. Um, this one is one of those 3D cards where the lid flop, flaps open and a little part of party pandas pop out. I'm using the new glimmer paper and the party pandas and the picture perfect birthday um, paper. So there's the first one. So I'll be teaching you how to do that. And then this one is one of those um, uh, fold gate, I think it's called, cards where it's like a twist, oh, it's twist gate, twist gate. So it twists open. And I put a little spot for like a gift card. Isn't that fun? Or you could even put a note that pulls out. So this is a really neat and, and really simple. I mean, it looks complex, but it's a fun technique. So I'll teach you how to make that. Again, it's using the um, Picture Perfect Birthday Designer Series paper. All of it is and pandas party pandas so there's that one and then this one is a waterfall um, card so I kind of wanted to do like the panda was kind of floating away so you know you see the balloon and then you see the panda and then you just see his little rear at the end um, so it's like he's flying flying up with his little balloon balloons taking him away um, but just kind of a really cool fun technique and then of course it's using that realistic photographic paper on this card and then um, here's another one which is kind of a, like a 3d kind of beautiful uh, like a stand-up card um, with my little party pandas and then this one I was super excited about um, this is a um, double slider card so it's just you know looks like you just pull the little tab here and of course now it's not gonna work for me okay pull the little tab and when you pull up I'm gonna do it sideways when you pull up both sides slide out. Isn't that fun? Love it. So I'll teach you how to make that too. So very fun class. So this class, all you need to do, I have a suggested supply list. So how you sign up for the technique class? I have a suggested supply list of things that I suggest you order to do this class. You do not have to order what I've suggested, or maybe you already own some of the things I've suggested, um, but you, uh, Place an order with the hostess code that I provided, not this hostess code. It's a different hostess code. So, so go look at the um, look at the event, click on it, and there's a hostess code in, included. And um, you place a thirty-four dollar order. It can be the supplies I suggested or your own, whatever you want. Um, thirty-four dollar order, and then uh, on the fifteenth of the month is the deadline to register for this class. And then as on the twentieth or around the twentieth of the month. Um, I will send out your project kits and then I'll send out your videos and then you can put these um, cards together. Now, um, let's see, what was I going to say? I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to say. But anyways, that those are my two um, February classes I'm really excited about. So hopefully um, you were able to uh, either come join me for my party class or do the technique class online um, with the videos. So, all right, today we are going to be playing, like I said, with the beautiful Peacock stamp set. I've got three really fun projects, and most of you um, that I that are on right now have seen my um, 
beautiful peacock calendar card. You most you should have all received one. And I did this little feathery tail using the new shimmer ribbon that somebody's going to be winning today. Um, so I wanted to show you how I did that and I wanted to show you how fun it is to play with the peacocks. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so the first card that we're going to make, oh I love it, is this beautiful peacock here with this long flowing feathery tail. Isn't that cute? So um, the colors for this card are Calypso Coral and Bermuda Bay, two of my very favorite colors. And, um, and then I use the Layering Leafs uh, Dynamic Embossing Folder to add um, kind of texture to the background. So I'll show you how we make that card. Here we go. So of course you've got your base, which is Bermuda Bay, and it's cut at four and a quarter. Um, so it's four and a quarter this way and 11 long ways. So, and then scored at five and a half to fold over perfectly. So I've got my base. And then I have another piece of Bermuda Bay cut at four by five and a quarter so that it's just slightly smaller than the base. And we're gonna run this through the textured embossing folder. But the first thing that you wanna do with these dynamic embossing folders, they're thicker than normal embossing folders. So you need to just spritz it with some water so that the paper becomes a little bit more pliable and doesn't um, rip. So I'm just off camera here spraying, not, not a lot, just slightly sp spritzing it. Can't talk this morning. Okay, so I'm putting it in my folder. And the sandwich that we want to use on our Big Shot, I'll bring that into frame here, not the magnetic plate. We don't want to use that. We want to use our normal base plate. Sorry, guys, the camera. I hope you guys don't get seasick here. And then you put your embossing folder in your paper, and then you just use one of your plates to make a sandwich. That's all you need. Because it's so thick, it doesn't need two plates. Just running that through. Okay, move this guy out of the way. And then we have this beautiful texture. And the paper will dry real quick. So we'll just set that aside because we got some stamping to do. I'm gonna bring back my original so you guys can kind of see how I put this color, put these colors together. And I need to get my little stamps out. And my ink. So I got my block. And I need his beautiful feathers. I haven't yet decided um, which pro which way is best, whether to stamp his tail first and then try to fit him in the center or stamp him first and then fit his tail around him. I don't know if there's a good way or not. Um, I probably still need to keep stamping and figure out what um, works best, but I'm gonna stamp his body in Bermuda Bay. Okay, got him good and inked up. And I'm gonna stamp him. Well, see, this one probably would have been best if I stamped his feathers first because I don't know how far over I need to be. So just to be safe, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room, stamping him close to the top here. I know, Lisa. I, I probably In this one, I think his tail just because of the placement, but I don't really don't know if there's a good way. All right, so uh, there's Bermuda Bay. Now we're going to stamp his tail in Calypso Coral. Do, 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 do. Shake the camera a little bit, probably. Okay, I've got his tail inked up. All right, pray for me, you guys. All right, so now I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I place this so that he doesn't get inked up. And you know, he ha there's even little slits for his feet. Sorry, I'm hitting the camera because I'm trying to see over. All right. Oh, not too bad. I like it. Okay, so I did good on camera. Whew, that never happened. All right. Somebody must have been praying for me. They were like, please, Lord, help Tiffany. Okay, so there's two different tails, um, or three actually. You've got this really pretty one, kind of like waterfall. This one that kind of loops up. Um, we're actually going to use both. So first we're going to, I'm going to clean him off here quick. First, we're going to um, do his little tail that goes upwards, like so. I don't know why I closed that, out of habit, I guess. 
Okay, so I've got his little tail and I'm gonna put this right about there, it's good. So I've got that and then we're going to do his little wispy bottom pieces. Okay, and I kind of want it to just kind of feather kind of everywhere. So even if it goes off a little bit, that's okay. I'm gonna do another one kind of going straight down to the bottom of the card. And then I think I want another one kind of off. This peacock's got a full feathery tail. I love it, so pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit of accent. So um, if you look here, this little piece down here with the little dots, it fits perfectly with the leaves. Um, so I'll show you, well, I, why did I call them leaves? They're feathers. <sighs> Anyways, oh no, I don't want Bermuda Bay. I want, I mean, I don't want Calypso Coral. I want Bermuda Bay, goodness. So what we're gonna do is these little dots along the tail. I should just go back to sleep and start over tomorrow. It's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Okay, so it just lines up perfectly uh, with this curved tail to go right next to the, I call them leaves, but I guess they're feathers, but see, like, look at that. So there's that piece. Okay, now for the fun part. Well, first we're gonna, I think we better glue everything down a little bit before we play with the tail. Um, so let me put some layers together. Oh, I didn't tell you what size this paper is. So this paper is um, three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Two, two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then the, I have a little uh, border that is uh, three by four. So just slightly bigger. So we're gonna glue that base onto that. So we've got my adhesive. And of course I've run out. Oh, uh, where's my replacement? That's okay, I'm just gonna use my fast fuse. Okay. So adhesive on there. I guess it doesn't matter which way, but there we go. Okay. And then, um, so then we need to glue our other pieces down together. So here's our base and here's our textured embossing layer. Um, I like to use fast fuse for these because they are bumpy and um, not flat. Um, so the strong adhesive helps it stick better. So I'm just gonna lay that right over the Bermuda Bay. I love this layered leaf em embossing folder. It's just pretty. Okay, so then we're gonna put him, our little peacock, Kind of off to the off centered here so we'll put some adhesive on him you could use um dimensionals if you wanted but if you're using fast fuse he should stick real well and not not worry about him coming off so right about so it's good all right now for the fun part we're going to make his tail so we need some of this ribbon and so here we go here's the technical piece of it and don't get frustrated if it doesn't fray perfectly the first time. Sometimes this ribbon gets um, hung up. So what I'm basically doing is just cutting like a fresh flat piece. It works better when it's flat like so. Okay, and you just start kind of trying to fray it away and you'll find this silver piece. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a silver piece. And as you pull, see, look, it's gonna get hung up. Come on, that's okay, this happens. Uh, you just gotta, Cut it fresh and start over, and it, it will work. So I'm finding my frayed piece. Oh my goodness. Don't do this to me. People are watching, and they want it to work right the first time. Oh goodness. All right, I'm cutting fresh again. Maybe it's because I don't have it quite even. Why does it keep getting cut? Ugh, okay. I'm sorry guys, I wanted to, I wanted this to work perfectly for you guys. Usually it will get hung up like once or twice and then it just pulls perfectly. Okay, there we go, now it's gonna behave. So see this, see how it starts fraying? 
and you make it the length that you want and you just keep pulling until you're happy with the length. How pretty is that? Look at that. So then you've just kind of unfrayed the ribbon. And then what I like to do is take the silver thread that I've been pulling and I like to wrap it around the um, tail a bunch of times to hold it together. Now you could take a separate piece of um, you know, silver thread or um, that's what I did with my calendar card. You can take a different piece and tie a, a knot a around it. But I already have this and I'm like, well, it's shiny and pretty and it's already attached to the ribbon, so why not? So um, I'm gonna just cut an end of this and I'm going to wrap it around itself, tuck it through and pull it tight. So now I've kind of made a knot with it. And then I can trim above it. Don't cut too close to it because you don't want it to come out, but cut it slightly up so it's kind of made a little mane. And then you can trim the silver piece off at whatever length you want. Okay, so there's that. And then you will just glue it down to your card front with a glue dot. Glue dot's gonna be the best option for this. And um, normally I would say just stick it directly on there, but because it's so, I, I kind of feel like the thread is so delicate, it could kind of come apart that I like to just um, take it and stick it where I want it to go. And then I'll stick this guy on top. And then he has a beautiful feathery mane. Isn't that cool? All right, so we're not done. We need to add some bling because you can never have enough bling. So I'm looking for my rhinestones here. And then we need to do our little sentiment. So I've got my rhinestones. And if you don't have your um, paper piercer handy, you can always use your scissors as like a little um, tip to lift off the rhinestones and it just sticks to the scissors. And I think I'm gonna put one up here. Usually my nails will work and I don't have cute nails on today, you guys. Rebecca would be so disappointed. Um, but my I took them off and my nails were really weak and frail and um, I haven't done what Rebecca suggested is go, go get some hard as nails lotion and put it on every day to strengthen my nails because my nails are really thin and frail and that's not because of the nails or anything the, the color street nails is just my nails are always that way and they just crack and break but so okay so there we go you probably learned a lot more than you really cared about my nails so now we gotta do our sentiment and this pretty sentiment that's in here is called Today is All About You. So this would make a really fun and beautiful birthday card. You could put happy birthday inside. I stamped, um, yes, Terry definitely needs bling. I, my cards, I love cards with bling. Okay, so I've got my Today is All About You. Boom. And then I used a framelit out of the Petal Passion Suite. So these are the um, framelits for the Petals and More um, thinlets, and one of the pieces is this beautiful little label. So it's like a decorative label. So I'm going to run that through my Big Shot. And this one I am going to use my magnetic piece because it just holds that label down nice and secure. And right about just trying to figure out where the center is. Oh, I feel like it shifted a little bit. Not being as delicate as I'm used to. Not sure why I'm still holding scissors in my hands either. But, okay. Run that through. Oh good, Lisa, I'm glad. I'm glad that I am inspiring you because it really is beautiful. And um, you're gonna see the other two cards we're gonna do today. Just, or actually it's one more card in a 3D object. So you'll definitely wanna stick around and see that. Okay, so then I've got my little label punched out and now I just need a dimensional to stick them on. So I've got two of my mini dimensionals. Love my mini dimensionals. If you don't have them, you need them in your life. Oh, okay, very important words that I forgot to mention. 
to enter this week's um, giveaway for the stamp set. I'm doing it a little bit differently and you guys are probably going to hate me, but I don't like having to put all your names in a on a ticket and putting it in a cup and drawing it that way. I want you guys to use, um, I'm using raffle copter for the first time. So in the description of this video, there is a link to the raffle copter giveaway. I need you to just click on that link, put your information in and hit submit and you'll be entered into the drawing. And then Rafflecopter is gonna do a random selection and choose a winner for the stamp set. It's not technical, I promise you. It's not hard. It's just literally clicking on that link, putting your information in and hitting submit. And all it asks for I think is your email address and I think like a suggestion for upcoming videos. That's it. It's totally fast and easy. So please do that to enter the raffle because um, you'll definitely wanna win this pretty stamp set. So there's our card. Beautiful, right? Oh, I just love it. I love the feathery tail. So now you can try whoever wins the ribbon today or when, or if you place a $50 order and get the ribbon, you can play with it and make these little feathery tails. All right, card number two. Okay, I have to say, I love this color with Calypso Coral. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is Night of Navy. Night of Navy blue with the Calypso Coral and then Crumb Cake. So those are the three colors in this card. And this is um, the same, this is all in the beautiful Peacock stamp set. So pretty. So let me show you how we're gonna do that card. We've got our pieces over here. Now, I'm using um, thick Whisper White cardstock because the thick is great for card bases. It's a little bit thicker than the regular Whisper White cardstock. So if you're ever using um, white as your base, use the thick. It's just a better quality. And then I'm using a piece of the Tutti Frutti um, designer series paper out of the Occasions catalog. It has a Calypso coral pattern on it and it's just really pretty. And so I thought that was a really cute background. Not too busy and um, just kind of added some texture to it, I think. So that is going to be our base. And you can actually glue this down because um, there's nothing going behind it. So we'll just put that down real quick. I'm sad, I should have checked my adhesives before we started um, so I could have filled up my runner, but there's always gonna be something I'm gonna forget. Never fails. And if adhesive is the worst of it, I guess I will take it. Okay, so the first thing um, we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the crumb cake. Now this um, is part of, a, part of a piece of one of the framelit sets. This is the, um, seasonal layers and it's got you know the pretty chair and the leaves and everything and the, and the snowflakes it's got a lot of great stuff this is in the um, annual catalog and it's actually the first set I bought when the catalog came out last June I was really excited about it but this piece here is what's going to cut this scalloped edge so I'm going to have to move everything out of the way again because we're going to bring the big shot back in this is I think well for this card it's the last big shot piece so We'll run this through, and this piece is cut at five and a quarter by two, by one and one and uh, one fourth, uh, one one and three fourths, five and a quarter by one and three fourths, almost two inches. And we're just going to cut a little bit. I just want to make sure my scallops are kind of even on both sides, and that it's even towards the bottom. Sorry, guys, didn't mean to bump the camera. I'm going to get everybody seasick this morning. Okay, so we're cutting that through. Love that scallop piece, it's so great. I'm gonna throw that guy back over there. So we've got our piece. And we cannot glue him down yet. Um, well, actually, no, we can. I lied. No, oh, dang it. Mm. Okay, guys, I lied. I should not have glued this piece down because I have to wrap ribbon around it. Oh boy, why didn't somebody, so Tiffany stop, but I have a plan because we're gonna wrap it, we're gonna wrap it around this piece. So I still have a plan. Okay, we're all right. We're gonna, we're gonna improvise and overcome. Okay, so let's do some stamping before I ruin anything else. <laughs> and we're gonna be stamping with the Knight of Navy. And we're gonna stamp our peacock's um, body with the Knight of Navy. I need to clean off some of these stamps so I can get the blocks. Okay, here's our peacock. 
he's just so pretty. And I love all of his little fancy tails. So we've got him off to the left there. Just cleaning it off because I'm gonna need this block to do his fancy tail. Okay. And it's gonna be in Night of Navy as well. Yes, Terry, creative opportunity. I'm gonna, hey, I'm coming up with a new way to put this ribbon on, it's gonna be okay. Not the end of the world. I have learned that I always have to overcome and adapt because I make mistakes all the time. And like you said, it's an opportunity to be creative. And I'm gonna look at it like that because that's how life is. Okay, now that I'm done with my little lecture, <laughs> I'm gonna stamp the sentiment, beautiful friend. Um, right at the top in Night of Navy. I'm just getting all my Night of Navy pieces done. So we've got beautiful friend right there in the center. What friend wouldn't love this beautiful peacock card? I think it's just great. And then there's all these little, um, I'll bring this back over into view. There's all these little tiny um, decorative pieces that can go around the tail or around your card or wherever. And um, so I'm gonna do several different, I'm gonna do Calypso Coral, um, Crumb Cake, and Night of Navy, uh, just around his tail, just to add some little pizzazz. It's a little, and I like it kind of, you know, strategic about the placement, I don't know. I don't think there's a right or wrong place to stick these pretty little things. So I've got all my Night of Navy pieces stamped, so now I'm gonna switch flowers and do, um, um, the crumb cake. These cards are beautiful and they're really easy to make. Um, and as you know, the stamp set is free with a $50 purchase or you might be the lucky winner when you enter my raffle this week. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm just stamp it wherever guys. It doesn't matter. His tail's gonna be beautiful no matter where you put those flowers. And we'll do some Calypso Coral ones. I'm gonna clean this one off. And we're going to do this other little decorative piece. So there's one. Pretty, pretty, pretty tail. He's got a pretty tail. He's such a pretty little peacock. Okay, uh-oh. My fingers must have been dirty, I smudged him. Oh, I guess a rhinestone's going there. Actually, no, my ribbon will cover it, it's okay. Okay, so um, now we're going to um, glue him, before I put any rhinestones or bling, I'm going to glue him onto the base of the Knight of Navy. Now, did I tell you what this is measuring? This is four, four by two and, a, two and three quarters, four by two and three quarters, and so this one is four and one eighth by two and seven eighths. So just one eighth of a slightly bigger size than the white. So it gives it a little border. Measure twice, cut once. I'm like, measure twice, glue once. Okay, so we've got that. And then we have our pretty piece of lace that we're gonna put behind the card. I'm gonna put glue on the back of this and um, glue my lace to the back. I'm having to be creative because of my ribbon foo thing that I did, so I've got that there, okay. And then this needs to be glued down to um, the scallop. And um, I need to do that before I do the ribbon piece. So I'm gonna put adhesive down at the bottom of here and glue that down like so. Okay, now we're gonna bring our little ribbon in. Hello, ribbon. And um, I am going to show you a trick to, to save some of your ribbon so you don't have to use it all is rather than wrap it around the piece and tie a knot and then cut it, you can take a smaller piece and tie a knot, so like loop it. You get to watch my sausage fingers at work. I'm gonna make sure my loop is big enough because 
you can see it's definitely going to be smaller than if I wrapped it around so I'm saving myself a little bit of ribbon and then I'm tying a knot I'm doing a knot today you guys not a bow you should be happy <laughs> you should be happy about that oh my goodness why is it that when I have to show you guys something live it's like no I don't know how to work my fingers okay so tied my knot and then what you do is so I want my knot to kind of be off to the side so I'm gonna need less ribbon on this side and more ribbon on this side so you just um, cut oh gosh now my scissors don't want to work I think I may need new scissors and so now you've got your what did I do I need to go home okay I didn't cut the ribbon so there's my ribbon I'm just doing the pretty little diagonal snip there okay and then you will wrap it around the piece so see I didn't use as much ribbon I didn't waste as much ribbon if I had wrapped it all the way around so I saved myself a couple inches of ribbon it may not have been you guys are thinking it's not worth all that extra fuss but it really does um, come in handy to save some of that ribbon it adds up and you know I go through a lot of ribbon so I'm always looking for ways that I can save I am being really gentle on the lace because it tears and I've learned the hard way so I'm just putting glue on the entire back of this because I have to glue it down to my card base so play, figuring out where I want my ribbon I think right about there is good to cover up my little inky ink mistake so I've just wrapped it around tucked it in the back okay it's still plenty plenty sticky everywhere um, if you wanted to you could run a little bit more adhesive on the ribbon so it sticks to your base but I think it's going to be fine and then I just want to center my scallop because it's not going to go quite to the end of my designer series paper so just sticking that where I think it should go stick it down I just love these three colors Do you guys not agree don't they go so well together and then you gotta bling a ding it right bling a ding 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 a bling Terry I, I killed it I killed it I don't remember what it's called sorry bling blinger blinger dinger blinger dinger <laughs> I don't know Terry help uh, so here's my rhinestones I'm gonna make his tail that much more blingy this, this, these peacocks, they like attention. They want it to be, they want it to be noticeable. So there's my pretty, oh, you could even put one on his eye. I don't know. Anyways, there you go. There's peacock number two. Okay, number three is kind of inspired by two different talented, wonderful ladies. The first one is Erica Serwin. Um, she did a blog hop uh, and she used the peacock to make a 3D kind of milk carton look um, project and she stamped the peacock's beautiful feathers all over the carton so that's where I got that I was inspired by her beautiful talents and this is her um, this is Erica's design um, and that I have cased from her and then the the carton itself since I don't have the gift box punch board um, I used one of Poodle's designs. I know you probably all have heard of Poodle. She does amazing 3D boxes. So I, um, she taught me how to make this out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I'm gonna show you that. Now, how we're going to do this beautiful peacock um, gift box. Isn't that pretty? Good morning, Shaylee. Thank you for joining us. So there's the cute, 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 cute gift box. So we'll show you how to do that. It's super simple, super easy. You just need a 12 by 12 piece of paper and um, I do have to do some uh, cutting down of the box slightly um, it needs to measure the piece needs to measure eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters so not quite 12 inches um, but you need a 12 by 12 piece to be able to cut it down that short so um, you need to got your stamp and trimmer you need to bring out your extender I'm cutting it at 11 and three quarters so just a quarter of an inch cutting off the edge here ok 
okay? And then we're gonna cut it at eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter. There, okay. This is what we're gonna use to make our curtain. So now we're gonna need our um, scoring, our scoring, score, scoreboard, scoreboard. Get my scoreboard out. Can't think of words today, can't talk. All right, so now we're gonna do some scoring. Can you see the top of that? I'm gonna adjust my camera so you guys can see the top. Okay, it's slightly off my table, but we'll make it work. Okay, scoring the short side. So this is the short side, this is the long side. Scoring the short side, we're gonna score that at two and three quarters. So all the way down the paper. Two and three quarters, five and a half, all the way down. Oh, don't let it jump. It will try to jump on you. So five and a half, two and three quarters, five and a half, and seven and three quarters. All the way down. Okay, now we're gonna turn this way and we're going to score at two and three quarters, five and a half, eight and a quarter, and 11. Okay, and then we're gonna do two scores to the first score line here. So don't even move your paper. The first score line is four and one eighth, right here. And the second one is nine and five eighths. So nine and then one, two, three, four, five. Nine and five eighths, so right there. And the reason that we're gonna do these is because we want this nice crisp um, fold inside of our box. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. We actually need our ruler for this next piece. And mine has this, oh no, it's just hiding. Okay, we have to score. We're going to score diagonally from this point to that center little score line that we did at the five and five eighths, I mean nine and five eighths. So I'm just using my ruler to line up the lines and I'm just doing a score. So I'm just kind of, I'm gonna be doing a triangle. So taking this point to that point, score. Same thing over here at this notch we did um, the other the second notch that one was at what four and four and one eighth taking it to this corner of the box scoring it up to that point and the other side here too and we don't have to fold on it or anything yet um, but it's going to help us have a real crisp clean uh, line all right so now we need to um, do some folding so we're actually going to fold this top piece the opposite direction of everything else. I'm gonna use my bone folder so I can get nice crisp lines. Okay, and then everything else is gonna be folded the opposite way. Love my bone folder. It's a must for those nice crisp lines. I still remember to this day, Tammy said, that is the one tool you need very important tool to have in your little Stampin' Up! arsenal. Okay, so I've got my uh, piece. Now, you want to do your stamping at this point. Before you've glued or built your box, you want to do your stamping of your little tails. So I've got my Calypso Coral. I'm gonna be, this piece is Calypso Coral. I don't think I ever told you that. Hi, Janie. Thank you for joining us. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be a milk carton. This is Poodle's design. I don't know if you guys know Poodle. She's a very popular, famous... Um, demonstrator but she taught me how to make this box so um and we and then I'm going to be taking Erica Serwin's design and stamping the little peacock feathers all over the carton it gives a really pretty decorative little look okay so this is actually going to be the front of our carton and I'm going to bring my original back back or my finished one back in so you can see I have stamped all over so you can see um even in the back, so you can see the, the, the pretty tails. So you just go for it. You just go crazy and you stamp all over. It really doesn't matter if you're off to one side. Um, I mean, and you can do as many or as little as you want. It just, it just really, really adds, I think, another um, level to it. It's just really pretty. I'm gonna do 
I think like that. You do you, girl. You do you. Okay? And you just keep stamping that tail. This peacock is just beautiful. I just love this beautiful tail. I love that other demonstrators share and that um, Stampin' Up's all about casing and casing means creating and sharing everything. Um, and so, you know, people, other demonstrators, we have different um, Facebook pages and videos and, and things that we share and help each other so that we're all learning and crafting together. Um, it's just really special. Yeah, thank you, Janie. That's very sweet of you to say. I am nowhere near Erica and um, Sam's level, but I love both of them. They both they both inspire me. So this is, you're right, this is kind of my take to that box. Okay, so we're going to do some cutting, and I'm actually going to use my bigger scissors because this is a slightly big box, so I'm going to use my big scissors. I'm going to cut up, this is, is going to be the bottom of your box. So cut up to that first score line on all side, on all these flaps. Just cut up. And then this piece here, we want to cut off completely. Just like so. And then this top little corner piece, we're going to cut at a diagonal. Like that. And then this piece here, we're also going to cut at a diagonal. There. Okay, and then we need to put some adhesive. Definitely use either fast fuse or um, tear and tape for putting your box together. This will hold your box together for forever. Okay, so putting some adhesive on that. And then the really cool thing is that you can just fold over your flaps and it lines up perfectly. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now what we need to do is glue our flaps our bottom pieces together. Now, if you're going to be putting something pr fairly heavy in this, um, you'll want to glue each piece onto the next. And we got to keep in mind too where our um, front is. So this is our front piece because it doesn't have the V scored into it. So this front piece, so we want this flap to be glued down last. Okay, that's going to be our last flap to glue down. We want to do our sides first, then the back and then the front goes over it and that just makes a nice clean seam at the bottom okay so what you could do is you can glue one of the sides on the inside some good adhesive there so you fold it in the other side good morning Eileen thank you for joining us okay so now you you can kind of push down on the inside seal that down okay remember that so yep this is gonna be our front so we want to put adhesive on the inside of that piece and we can even put adhesive on the inside of this piece so that it sticks to the layer below it we're gonna make it really strong and hold anything we put in this box okay so we've glued that down and then we fold that top piece that front piece in okay and then because we did these little score lines, it's gonna help us, we just pinch. That's all I did, see this? I just pinched, boom, and it's closed. And then um, sometimes you have to kind of guide the paper. You're like, hey, I scored and folded you. Do what I told you to do. Don't, don't cave in. There we go. Nope. Stop. <laughs> oh, my paper. Paper's being rebel today, but I, I told it who's boss. Okay, there you go. So see that? And so then I'm going to take my little binder clip. I've got my gold library clips. Put one of those right over the top. Holds it down. And then I'm taking my pretty... Can't find it at the moment. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Okay. Here's another spool of the shimmer ribbon. It's in the pack of the three. This is the Bermuda Bay ribbon. And I actually, with this box, um, did a double bow. So basically what I did for that, I am the boss, Jane. I'm going to be the boss of my box. Okay. I'm not the boss of anyone. <laughs> but I'm going to pretend. All right. So I'm just cutting it so that it's doubled up. And then I'm going to tie a bow. And it's going to cooperate because I'm live. It's going to cooperate and do what I want it to do. 
to be the boss, as Janie says. All right, not too bad, not bad. See, and then you can, you have to fuss with bows. Buzz, bows must be fussed with. It's like they demand it. They're like, you know what, we're so pretty, we demand to be fussed with. So, my bow has an attitude today, but I'm fussing with it, just, I would like my, I'd like you to be able to see that I did two bows. And, yes, these little milk cartons are great for any occasion, Janie. I, I agree with you. I think I did one, oh, I did one last year during celebration. You guys remember the chick stamp, the chickens? I stamped it with the wood grain and made it like a barn. And then I put the chick, I uh, stamped the chickens and glued them to the outside of the box. It was like a little chicken hen house or something. It was su super cute. And you can fill it with some Cadbury eggs or something. So, okay. I think it was even a gift. I think I gave it to people as a gift from my class that they attended. I don't know. If you have one of those or you remember getting one, remind me. So, okay. So I put a glue dot on the back of my ribbon and I just slap that to the center of my clip. See that? Okay, so let me show you how we do this piece. Um, you need a scrap of the Bermuda Bay. Let me get my pieces over here. Come on. You guys should see how messy my desk is. It's hilarious. I work well under, under chaos, I guess. Okay, so you need a piece of the um, um, designer series paper. I don't, I don't think I still have it, Janie. I'm sorry. I think I may have given them all away. Did I lose you guys? That was weird. My husband was trying to call me. Did he interrupt it? Okay. Anyways, I'm still on, I think. Okay. So we have our Bermuda Bay. Doesn't he know I'm doing Facebook? Doesn't he know it's more important? Okay. To make this, to make this circle border, you need to use your second to largest stitch circle framelit for the outside. So we got that. And then you need one of your layering circle framelits, and I believe it's this one. Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Is it this one? No, am I missing it? Oh, no, it's over here. Okay, Whew. so it, you'll find the layering circle framelit that fits directly inside with slightly space. Okay, thanks, Terry, thank you. Okay, so now I've got to bring my big shot into view. I'm going to be cutting that um, piece. There we go. So if you get Erica's, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. She does this thing with all these other really super talented, oh, it's called the All-Star All Bundle. And because I'm on Erica's team, I get the All-Star Bundle tutorials free every month just for being on her team. Which means that if you're on my team and you sign up for the starter kit, you also get it for free. So my perks are your perks. So um, if you ever wanna be part of an amazing team, join today, I will take you and I will take you under my wing and we'll craft together and we'll have a blast. And we get to use all of these wonderful, talented ladies um, tutorials that they share with us. And we have team meetings and we do fun challenges and we just have a blast. So. Okay, so there's my little join my team spiel. This is our little frame that we did, just using the stitch shapes and the layering circles. Tucking that back in. I've never had a phone call in the middle of my video before. I'm a little bit taken back by it. Okay, so we've got our frame. So then we have this piece of paper, this white piece. This is what we're gonna stamp the peacock on. And this is two and three quarters by two. Two and three quarters by two, because it's two and three quarters wide. And then I wanted, you know, a, a slight border on each. Yes, Jenny. so I am on Erica's team and Erica um, has these wonderful, amazing team perks. So being on my team means you get Erica's perks. And I also have uh, one other upline above me, um, Kara, and she gives me her perks. And so if you're on my team, you get her perks and Erica's perks and my perks. Is, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. We have an amazing team. Okay. I'm going to be stamping my peacock in Calypso Coral. And then I'm going to be doing the tail in Bermuda Bay. 
And I'm gonna show you what it looks like to stamp the tail first this time, just because, and I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that way, because, how perky, ha ha ha. Okay, because um, I want it to be centered. So I, Lisa, to answer your question from earlier, I think I'm leaning towards feathers first because it helps you center where the heck you want your peacock. Okay, I don't know, we can still go up for debate. You guys all start stamping and you guys tell me. We'll have a vote. How about that? Again, um, as a reminder, I am doing my raffle for my free, you know, free um, giveaway, which is going to be the peacock stamp set this 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 week. Make sure that you go to the description of this video, and there's a link to the raffle. Okay, make sure you click on that link, enter the raffle, and then I'm I'm uh, out of the loop here. I don't want to have to do the drawing. I want Raffle Copter to do do the drawing for me. So. Make sure you click that link, it's super easy, not technical at all. Um, as a matter of fact, it's what Erica uses for her raffles. So, perk of being on her team, she taught me how to do it. Okay, my peacock's a little cattywampus, but that's okay, he's still pretty, he's still beautiful. So I did that in Bermuda Bay with Calypso Coral. My, um, my frame is done with a Bermuda Bay, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue our peacock onto our box. So putting some, putting in some adhesive on the back. Putting our peacock on. Just making sure he's centered. You have all week to enter the raffle for these, for the um, peacock stamp set. And then um, we're gonna be putting dimensionals on the back of our circle. Our frame. I don't know why I keep calling it. And the minis are just right. Why do I have stray hair everywhere? The, oh, I know the answer to that because I have 50,000 animals. Okay, I don't have 50,000. I have two cats and a dog, but it feels like they have enough fur combined as if it were 50 animals. Okay, got my frame. Putting that around my peacock. Just trying to get him centered. I don't want the ends of my six cats, Janie. Goodness, you do you wear the title of cat lady <laughs> in a nice way? That's a lot. Holy cow! Are they only indoor cats? Cause wow, I think my husband would divorce me if I had that many. Okay, so now we're gonna do our little sentiment, and I'm going to stamp it in Bermuda Bay just like this. So you can see six. Thank you, Eileen. I love these two colors, too. Am I turning you towards uh, Calypso Coral? I know you had said you didn't like orange. Okay, so Janie says her cats can play outside. That's good. I have one cat that's allowed to go outside, and my other cat is too dumb to go outside. He jumped to the neighbor's fence because our neighbor has um, or had ducks, and he jumped the fence, and then he was too fat to get back over, so... He was meowing from the other side, and um, we had to go rescue him. So I was like, you know, if you're that dumb that you can get over the fence but then not back over, I'm not letting you outside. But my other cat, she comes back, and she's just fine. Okay, so I've done my little banner. This is a half inch. All you need is about a half inch strip of white. Um, and then I just put dimensionals on the back, and we'll glue that down. I keep putting my dimensionals away, and then I have to keep grabbing them. So I'm kind of keeping it, you gotta kind of keep it um, towards the center because we're gonna put it over the over the um, circle border. So we've got that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cover this peacock's little feet because peacock's shy about their feet. I don't know, whatever. Okay, boom, there you go. You can even, if you don't like um, that your border's that thick, you can trim it down a little bit. I don't know what the exact measurement of it. I don't think you really need an exact measurement of that. I'm quacking you up. That's not funny, Janie. Those those ducks, Carrie will tell you, Carrie's been to my house and those ducks would quack the entire time. You couldn't have your windows open without a quacky conversation happening in the backyard. They were so loud. And even early in the morning, um, I think those neighbors moved and I'm super glad of it. Ugh, this pearl doesn't want to behave. Um, 
because I don't hear the quacking anymore. Or maybe my cat went over there and took care of business. I don't know. But ducks in the city. Yes. Carrie was like, oh my gosh, call and complain. <laughs> Carrie was like, do something about those ducks. It was driving her crazy when she was about my, at my house. I thought it was funny. And duck soup. I don't know. My cat probably enjoyed raw duck. Is that a thing? Is that a specialty? Okay, so look at that. Look how pretty he is with his pearls. You could do rhinestones. You could do the um, fauceted gems. Oh, pfft. took the rhinestones. Took the pearl right off. Am I, I'm, I'm just like a klutz today. Well, every day. Why am I acting like that's not normal? Okay. So there. Ah, stick. We still need to do our drawing from last week so we'll do that now thank you I'm, yeah i agree they're beautiful okay so see we've got our three beautiful projects look at those peacocks aren't they just beautiful we've got the three beautiful peacocks now remember if you place a 30 dollar order this week under this hostess code i will send you all of the make and takes to make this beautiful be, these three beautiful cards um, and so, and then again, if you place a $50 order, you get the Peacock stamp set for free, or you can enter my raffle through the description of this video. There's a link to my raffle. If you enter that raffle this week, you could win your very own stamp set. You don't even have to pay $50. You just have to watch my video and enter the raffle and you can win this. Okay. But if you want these beautiful make and takes, make sure you place an order. Okay. So here is my very last time having to draw out of a cup because I'm going to use that raffle copter. You'll get the ribbon, the Calypso Coral ribbon, which will make these beautiful tails. I've got all the names of people that joined and watched last week. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Shaylee, you're our winner! Yay! I know Shaylee was watching earlier. I don't know if she's still on, but congratulations, Shaylee. You get the spool of ribbon. I will be sending this to you. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching live with me on Facebook. So congratulations. Um, again, if you guys ever have questions or you're confused about something, let me know. Um, if you have questions about my classes, I know I try things and I'm not very good at explaining them so it can be confusing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful peacocks. Oh, and just to let you guys know, February 16th, Stampin' Up! is releasing um, more celebration items. So um, stay tuned for that. I'll be sending something out about that. But they're going to be releasing more celebration items. So if you've gotten everything that you love out of the celebration um, catalog and you're you're like, I want something new. Well, they're releasing some more items and I'm loving, I already got to see it, but I am loving it. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much. Um, have a happy Super Bowl, Janie. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.